Hey there, what's up everybody? This is Michael Blank, and I'm really excited you're here to learn with me about apartment building investing. Today on the show, I have Brian Fouts with me. He's the co-owner of Elevation Group, and the reason I brought him on, he's got this, this kind of uh, high-level view of building and creating wealth. And the Elevation Group uh, has kind of put together methodologies around helping people uh, generate passive income, protecting it, growing it in very, very interesting ways. So I wanted to co him come on the show and talk to, to you about that. And he's got some very interesting ideas about uh, doing all those things, creating your own banking system, protecting the assets, generating passive income. And what I love about the Elevation Group is that um, it, they have all this cool information all under one in one, one place. A lot of good videos and teachings. And a lot of things I've been learning over the last uh, last couple of years um, are, are strategies that they all have under under one roof. So really excited to have Brian talk about that. Before we get into the show, I just want to let you know my book is out, Financial Freedom with Real Estate Investing, yellow book, now live on Amazon. And this is really exciting for me because it took me a year to write this book. And it's as you can the title is, is very generic. It's Financial Freedom with Real Estate Investing. And uh, I spend a good third of the book kind of talking about why I think apartment buildings is the right way to do it. And then I show you how to do it even if you don't have any experience or your own cash. And then I actually show you how to do your first deal. So this book should probably be priced at $1,000. Instead, it's only $10. So I highly encourage you guys to take this thing, read it in a day or two. It's, it is pretty substantial. And if you loved it, leave me a review um, and um, let, me, let me hear from you. Really excited about this book. Really, a, a lot of my passion and mission is in this book. So that is, that is live. So make sure you go to Amazon Financial Freedom with Real Estate Investing. All right, you guys, let's get right in the interview with Brian Fouts. Here you go. Hey, Brian, welcome to the show. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate uh, the opportunity to be here. All right. So you're obviously uh, with Elevation Group. Uh, give us an inter introduction to, to yourself first, and we'll talk about a little bit uh, the company that you're with. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. So my brother Jake and myself, Brian uh, Fouts, uh, we're the owners of the Elevation Group. And funny enough, we actually did not, we, we actually became members first of the Elevation Group. Uh, we actually started out in the nine to five world working regular jobs before, before we became investors and entrepreneurs. And we became members of the Elevation Group. And we were so blown away by what the, the mission, the vision of what uh, Elevation Group or EVG for short was that when the opportunity came up for us to actually take over the reins, we jumped at the opportunity about, about almost three years ago now. And it's been an incredible journey since uh, being the owners of, of the EVG and you know, carrying that mission on. Well, let's talk about why did you get so excited about that in the, in the process? Maybe tell us a little bit about what you guys are about, what your mission is, but what really got you excited that where you wanted to actually take over the company? Yeah, and, and what got me excited about it was that I was taught financial knowledge by the traditional means, which means I wasn't taught anything really. I was taught how to be a good employee. I went to college, got a degree, and that's what I did until I realized there was more out there. There was something else out there, and I went on this journey with my brother to find out what that was. And that led us to the Elevation Group. And when I became a member, I was absolutely blown away because here was a platform that was bringing together expert advisors who taught strategies to create, build, and grow wealth that were not taught by any other traditional means. It was absolutely amazing. And I was able to, to learn these strategies, work with these advisors, these experts on how to create my, my, my wealth and build it and, and I even pass it on. And so it was an incredible platform uh, where I can go and learn how to really um, attain financial literacy. Well, it's interesting. I'd I love to hear uh, I mean, what you kind of the secrets that you discovered. And I know some of the stuff you're doing is not very widely known. And it's really, really interesting, which is why I had you on, on, the, sh on the show. And in the process, really, you kind of formalize this, this five-step formula uh, that people have used to develop wealth. And that's kind of what you use at, uh, at the Elevation Group. Can you share with us some of those some of those five steps, and then maybe we could drill down on each of those here because I think it's really going to be eye opening for for a lot of the listeners and watchers. For sure, and you know where this came from and why I came up with these five steps is you know EBG is a great platform for financial education and knowledge and you know empowerment, and it's actionable stuff too. And you got to understand when you bring these extra people that are advising billionaires, I mean they have completely different strategies that are not talked about, but being part of that network, being connected to a lot of these individuals, I mean, multi, multi-millionaires and even billionaires, you start to see these patterns of how they have attained their, their wealth or their money and how they've been able to keep it actually as well. And I saw this pattern and that's really what the Elevation Group is what we're all about, is bringing that, that knowledge 
and the ability to do these things in your life to the world. That's really what we're all, we're, we're all about. And, yeah, and, and, I, and I, love, I agree with you. Every time you're, you're around these really wealthy individuals and, and, you kinda, and they tell you a little bit what they're doing, they don't really go a lot of detail. You're like, huh, that's weird. I've never heard that before. And you look into it. And you're like, how can I use what they're doing uh, for me? And it sounds to me like you've studied these wealthy individuals and you've kind of distilled what they're doing into, into various strategies. So I can't, uh, I can't wait to dive into them. Yeah, and when I look back at my journey as well, I, I, I can start to see the same pattern in, in my life and, and in my journey. And it was incredible to see that thing and, and realize, well, who's actually teaching this? There are people out there that are teaching one part maybe or a little part here and there, but there's no one that's bringing it all together because it's not just one thing or one expert. It's, it's having that network and that team of people you can go to. And so that's how I came up with the five, the five categories, the five pillars, as I call it, to elevated wealth. And the first one is, is one that uh, a lot of people have to really wrap their minds around, and it's you have to make an impact. You have to do something big. You have to do something different. Because here's the bottom line. If you're working a nine-to-five job, if you're in the hamster wheel, the rat race, or whatever it is, if, you're, if you have a, a, a business that's a job, you know, it's just over broke, and you want something different in your life, you have to do something different. So the first thing that entrepreneurs, successful individuals do is they do something big. They make an impact in the world. They do something different than what everybody else around them is doing. And so for like myself, uh, I was a regular, doing a regular job. I jumped into real estate investing and started doing different strategies. And I invested in uh, real estate, oil and gas, and notes right off the bat, which is very different than what I was ever taught. Um, but there's a lot of different things you can do to make a, do something di you know, different. It's entrepreneurship. Buy an existing business is one of my favorite ones. Go buy an existing business. It's easier than you think. Um, learn a new skill or strategy online. There's so many ways to make money online. Do a side hustle, but do something different. Create that income and capital that can then set you off on a different path. That's sort of the first thing I teach people, and we have a lot of strategies that help people do that, um, that side hustle, side income, or, or change what they're doing. But basically, do something different. Make an impact. Right. So do something different than you're doing and create an income on the, on the side. And, and obviously, you can do that various different ways. You talked about some examples with notes, oil and gas, real estate. <laughs> obviously, we talk about real estate and apartment building investing, which is all about creating that passive income. Uh, and yes, it's nice to pay yourself acquisition fees and asset management fees and distributions. And, 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 and that's just one way in, in your universe that you can create income. And I, I love that because there's multiple right. ways to achieve the same goal, right? I mean, apartment building investing isn't right for absolutely everybody, right? And, uh, but it is for, for many of them. But uh, there's different strategies where you can create income. And obviously, as you said, that's step number one is you've got to create that, that income. And most people, because they have full-time jobs, have to do it on the, on the side. And so you kind of call it a, a side hustle. Yeah, and a lot of entrepreneurs also, they'll do something like a big impact that they can then turn around and, and sell or they'll create an idea or they'll solve a problem. And it's, it's the change of the mindset from I'm going, to I'm going to trade one hour of my time for $20 versus I'm going to spend 40 hours, 80 hours, 100 hours learning this one thing and then I'm going to make $10,000, $100,000, $500,000. It's that shift of focus right there. Yeah, it's investing in yourself, and it's it's amazing. You know how you always talk about, you know, should I invest in this business or invest in that business? And uh, uh, you know what I've read, it, what most most often is the best investment, the best ROI you can always get is investing in yourself. Uh, every time I've done it, every time people around me have done it, I come come back, come away with going, I can't believe what I just learned today, and and that changes everything. Is learning different strategies, and and then implementing those. So. You're right, you're right on, Brian, is it's investing in yourself so that you can make an impact so you can do something different. Where else are the ideas going to come from? They're not going to come from you. They have to come from somewhere outside. Yeah, and I always tell people you, you can't save yourself into you know, wealth <laughs> either. And so that's why I look at that, that, that phase one, that step one, is you've got to get out from, from what your current rut is and just do something different. And it's actually simpler than everybody thinks. It's actually easy to do once you are exposed to that world and you start to open your mind up to the possibility of what is what you can do and when i was exposed to that world i, I was blown away by all the different ways that i could all of a sudden make make money i've made money for on you know on amazon trading books um doing online marketing option trading oil and gas real estate i mean that's just a handful of the ways that i've made money just on the side there's so many ways to do it um and i remember i, I looking at back at my old job 
I could probably never go back now. Having seen how many ways there are to make that same amount of income, working less time or more time or from home, there's just so many opportunities out there. But that's the first thing is once you see that and you take that first step, it blows the doors wide open to the other things that you can do to create wealth. And that's where, uh, you know, the five pillars, the second thing to do that uh, most people don't think about is you have to take, I call it, take the money off the table. When you start generating that capital, that revenue, take it off the table and put it somewhere, put it to work for you. So a couple of examples that we, te we teach is um, elevation banking, which is a, how, it's a life insurance strategy that allows you to become your own bank. It's a phenomenal strategy where you can actually put your money to work for you, get guaranteed returns, and then loan yourself money to go invest later on. Um, you can put into an account or savings account that you can't touch. You can put it to, towards paying down debt as an example. It's, it's, that's one that I recommend that some people do is pay down bad debt. Or you can put it into a fund or a, um, a managed account or a, just something to, to take it off the table so that you're not saying, oh, look, I've got $10,000 I just made. Let's go buy a new car, right? It's take that money off the table, put it to work for you somewhere else, but make it available. Here's the, 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 the big point is to make it available when you need it to leverage yourself and put it to work in an asset. That's where I always tell people, it says build that, that capital up that really can allow you to really create wealth. All right. So basically what you're saying is you're creating your own banking system over time and it's not something you can do overnight, uh, but it's right. something that you're, you're essentially taking money off the table and you're putting it in savings for a period of time until the point where it starts actually not only it pay, starts paying dividends, but you can also uh, borrow against it. You can invest with it. And then it really, really starts compounding. Is that, is that kind of what you're describing? Yeah, that's one of the strategies that we teach in at the Elevation Group is, uh, we call it Elevation Banking, but it's dividend paying whole life insurance is the vehicle that allows you to do it. But the reason why it's so important is that wealthy individuals, if you watch them and you study how they, how they work and successful business owners, is they're able to take advantage of opportunities when they present themselves. Hmm. Whereas most people are saying, oh man, that was such a cool thing. I wish I'd, I wish I could have done this. Or I wish I could have bought into this. or I wish I could have, I could have participated. Wealthy people are ready because they take that money, they put it aside, they take it off the table, but it's ready to put, be put to work when the opportunity comes around. Um, so like cryptocurrency is a great example. I know so many people that are working a regular job that say, man, I wish I was involved in some way, shape or form. And yet all of my other contacts and network and friends who have capital or successful businesses, they're participating because they're ready. Or like I remember an example um, in my life, I, an investor came to me and says, hey, I need a short-term loan. I need, it was, it was $40,000, I believe at that point, $40,000 to $45,000. And I will pay you, it was an insane amount of money. Um, it was like, I'll pay you 50% back. Uh, so actually 150% is what I made on it over 12 months. I was like, okay. The next day, I had the funds in his account and I made $60,000 back. Yeah, because you were ready. I was now, ready. Now, the, the question that a lot of listeners are going to have is, you know, uh, I don't really have money to, to invest, right? Is this something that you do once you have, you know, $100,000 saved up or $10,000 of passive income coming in? Or is, that, is there something that we can do uh, right now regardless of, of where we're at in the stage of life? Well, so that's why I always look at step, the, 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 the first pillar, which is to go do something different to create income, create capital is that's why that's kind of the first thing is so that you can put it into step two. You can start saving that money um, for elevation banking. As an example, anybody can do it. Uh, it's best if you have money coming in that you can put towards it, disposable income, money from a side hustle, money from another job or whatever it is um, from an investment or whatever it is. But uh, that's why I would say the first thing is, is go do something different, make an impact, do a side hustle, buy a business, get something that's going to create capital and revenue coming in. And then step two is take that, that revenue or income off the table and put it into another vehicle to hold it for when you're ready. And, and not in a bank. That's, that's the whole point. It's, it's something else. Uh, you guys use life insurance instead of actually parking the money in, in the bank because it allows you to grow that money much, much faster uh, in yep. very significant ways over time. 
And it's liquid too. That's the key thing That's is right. liquid. Yeah. I mean, you can put it into a bank, but <laughs> you know, it's, you, you might be losing money because of inflation. You're not getting a return on it. Um, you can put it, you know, there's some, you know, um, you can put it into bonds potentially if it's a liquid. There's other things out there. That's just the one that we taught, teach because it is so amazing to get guaranteed returns you come to your own bank and there's other benefits that I will get into here, but that's the second pillar that we talk about. Um, the third one is one that I have seen destroy people because they don't know it. And step three or, or pillar number three is to protect what you have, safeguard it and keep more of what you make. And so at Elevation Group, we teach tax strategies. We have a tax advisor that teaches how to keep as much of your money because I don't mind paying taxes, but I'm okay paying less. So pay less taxes, keep your money, safeguard it with entity protections. So wrap your assets around with LLCs, business entities. Um, I personally use um, trusts, so a family trust and a, a living will and then entities to protect my assets in case something happens. And we've all heard horror stories about business owners who get sued and they lose everything or um, I was talking to, to an entrepreneur, uh, this is a, a person that has seven figure net worth, high seven figures in, in real estate and other businesses. They have all of it under their personal name. Mm. And so, and they don't have separation between their assets. So between this business and real estate, there's no separation. And so if they get sued, they're going to lose everything potentially. And so the big thing to keep in mind is that you cannot wait until you're sued because it's too late. You can't go backwards in time. You have to set it up now. So I always tell people, protect, your, protect what you have. If you're going to build this foundation for wealth, protect it, safeguard it. Learn you know, asset protection strategies. So we have an asset protection attorney and strategist, um, some CPAs in our team inside Elevation Group memberships just to teach these strategies to help people keep what you make. Safeguard it. Make sure it'll be there six months from now, one year, 10 years, and for the next generation. Yeah, that's a, a really great, it's a cautionary tale. And I remember when I first got started with, with I, I, when I left my job and I became the entrepreneur overnight, I was trading stocks and options like you. I got in apartment buildings. I was getting into real estate. And, you know, when you get into this stuff, you don't, I never considered, I got into restaurants, right? I never considered the downside. Like I would never look at the, the lease, the, the default part of the lease or the termination part of the lease or anything like that. I was like, wow, what can possibly go wrong? And the other thing that happens is, and, and, you know, my attorney told me this at one point. He goes, you know, when you go out as an entrepreneur, you're hanging your shingle out in the world uh, for everyone to see. You're going to become a target at one point or another. And unfortunately, 99% yes. of the time, uh, what happens is these are frivolous lawsuits. These are people looking to get even or looking for money. And it's very easy to get sued over nothing. And it's happened to me. And, you know, these suits get dismissed for very, very little dollars at the end of the day. But you have to defend yourself. You have to settle. And the whole thing is a, is a hassle. And you're, right. and you're right. If you, if you don't pay attention to the downside, if you don't uh, protect your, your assets in the way you describe someone, and an attorneys are smart. Uh, they, they can see what everything's tied on. And if, if they see that you're owning everything in, in your name, you're a nice target. So I'll take your client, client any day. Versus right. if, you do it, if you do it where yeah, I can go after this entity and there's nothing else after that, uh, that's really important. And a lot of people just don't, don't think about that. So it's, 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 and I think it's important to do it even if you don't own millions, frankly, because it's not that expensive to do. Setting up an LLC, mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's not that expensive to do. And a lot of people make some really, really simple mistakes that, um, you know, or even, even uh, getting the right kind of insurance, things of that nature. So I, yeah. I, love, I love that. And it's the, the amazing thing about that is that it's simple and it's easy and quick to do. That's right. It's so quick and easy. I mean, I did a trust when I, my, after my first daughter was born, I put a family trust in place to wrap all my personal assets. I think it took us a couple of hours to do it and we were done. It, yeah. But the peace of mind that it allowed me to have when I went to bed at night was incredible. Um, you know, and that, that meant that my family was safe, you know, that I didn't have to worry about it or that, hey, if something did happen, you know, it, it wasn't going to freak me out because I like, okay, I ha I've already have my stuff protected. I've, I've, I've run through it, the scenarios with, uh, you know, a, a professional. And I know that uh, if something does happen, my family is going to be safe. And so that's why I always teach our students, you know, don't, don't wait till it's too late. Start now with the right foundation. It's easy and it's simple to, to understand how this works. And it's actually kind of fun too. This is the crazy thing. People are saying it's fun. It's not fun to figure this stuff out. I'm like, oh yeah, it is. When you start putting entity protection in place and asset protection and you realize there's 
tax benefits to all this stuff and all of a sudden, wow, I'm making more money now than I was before, it'll change the game for you. It'll change the way you think. I have literally had to you know, help people you know, change their thought process about taxes. Because when you have a business, it all changes. You know, I was teaching this, um, this one individual, uh, they were just getting going and they were saying, it's like the taxes are killing me. It's like, I almost don't take any money out of my business. And I'm like, well, do you, uh, do you rent your home to your business as a conference room? And they're actually saying, what are you talking about? I'm like, you can rent your home to your business for up to 14 days a year. And it's a tax write off for your business and it's tax free income for you personally. It's like that's and that changed it because all of a sudden they were making a thousand dollars a month tax free. Their business had a tax deduction, and they also they had more money to go do stuff with. And the key again, Brian, as you mentioned, over again, is all education, right? And 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 yeah. and uh, I'm a continual learner, as I know you are as well, and just learning, continuous learning, reading books, uh, you know, educating yourself, like like you guys are providing with the EVG, uh, you know. All that stuff together, you're constantly learning, and then you discover these things over time. And I think a lot of people get overwhelmed with everything that you're talking about here, uh, but you don't have to do it all at once. You just start with one thing. You say, right. hey, let me look, let me look into, this, into this elevation banking thing. Now, let me look at this asset protection thing, right? And you, you know, take two, three months uh, to kind of get, get familiar with, put it in place, and, and move on. So and don't feel overwhelmed, but I think you bring up really good points that these are very, very important, and you got to pay attention to them. And the, the interesting thing too about what you just said is all these things build wealth. They create more cash flow in your life. That's what the whole point of it is. And this is what why successful people are always getting more and more success and having more and more cash flow and why people look at them and say, how come the rich are getting richer? Well, it's because they have foundations like these in place. And uh, just like you said, you don't have to do them all at once. And where I struggled before was trying to go out into the marketplace and there's just so much noise out there. There's, you know, the guy in the strip mall down the street that is trying to tell me one thing and there's this other financial planner trying to say a different thing and it's just very overwhelming. So what do you do and who are the true experts? And that's really what my mission, my passion is about at Elevation Group is to bring the experts to one location, the true experts, so people can learn directly from them and actually use them to do these things in a, in a uh, controlled environment and in a step-by-step -step process that's really what has helped a lot of our members have massive success in their lives because they're able to have access to this network. My network, my personal network of people that I work with and that I learn from, you have access to it. And that's why I love the platform. You know, and, and one, of the, the mo one of the most popular things people like to do is to acquire assets that pay you passive income. You know, that's, that's the fourth thing, the fourth pillar that uh, people always, that everybody wants to get to. And that's just acquiring assets that build your net worth create cash flow. And the third thing I like them to have is they have massive tax benefits. So that's just acquiring assets that, you know, once again, are providing you passive, passive income or passive cash flow as I call it. And so inside Elevation Group, we talk about real estate. So we have many real estate strategies to acquire that. We have oil and gas, uh, how to acquire existing businesses, how to uh, actually invest in existing businesses, how to become a private lender as it just as some quick examples of different strategies that you can use to acquire assets to create cash flow and, and, and wealth. Right, so the cycle really is uh, creating income and that could be, it could be active income, uh, but the, the best kind of course is passive or at least leverage income. And then mm -hmm. putting that in, 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 uh, to the side, uh, possibly putting it into your own banking system, which we didn't talk about a lot here, but very, very interesting. Uh, and I've started looking into it as well and putting money into that system, which in over time you can use to uh, invest in, and that's where you kind of create the passive income, and that's also you know, where you create uh, multiple sources of revenue so that you can actually add more money into that, into that system. Yes, yeah, and that's why the, and the last, the fifth pillar is just making sure that you always have multiple sources of income. And so on average, you know, the people that I work with that I study have seven sources of income on average. That's incredible. Now everybody's saying, that's, that's crazy. Why would you do that? Well, I'm like, well, think about it. You know, if, if you're working a job, you have income from your job, you're putting money to a 401k. And then what happens is that when you retire, you lose one income and you rely 100% on the other one. Well, what happens if the market crashes? What happens when 2008 happens again? If you lose that one source of income, you're done. Versus successful people, they have multiple sources, whether it's real estate, investments in you know, funds, I, they might have stocks or mutual funds, they have a business that's providing cash flow. 
they have multiple sources because they understand that that's how you really can um, leverage that cash flow to make more and more money. That's really what it's all about is to cycle that back in. And so we always recommend have multiple sources. Um, I've had, you know, a few years ago, I, if I look back what I had, I had income from uh, real estate. I had income from oil and gas as and then massive tax benefits there as well. Uh, I had a pri some private lent loans out there. I had online resources. Um, I had a business. I had at least five that I can think of on top of my head, sources of, of income. And sometimes something might happen and one of those might go away or, or decrease. But it didn't really matter to me because I had multiple sources. And it's exciting when you do that too. When you have all these different ways of making money, it, it gets, it's a lot of fun. So Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. And, and uh, you know, I... I, I it's great what you guys put together on the elevation group. It's just uh, you guys really have a heart for uh, training and educating people because you've discovered what it's like to be financially free and uh, and you want others to have the same thing. And we kind of share that mission with each other. What what uh, give us an uh, what is what can people expect uh, in the elevation group? Is it free to join? Is there a price? And what, what's what's in there? What kind of resources are there? Yes, yeah, so we have a um, we have a membership platform where we teach all the stuff. We actually have uh, you know content. We have a newsletter that we send out uh, weekly. Um, and we're always bringing different strategies to our subscriber list. Inside the membership platform, we have over 30 lessons with advisors that are in those five different categories. And we work with our members to walk them through the different steps and pillars and helping them put those in place in their life. If they are looking to create more cash flow in their life, we have multiple strategies for doing that. We have experts on how to you know, do credit repair. We have experts on investments and asset classes. So whether it's real estate, creating your own business, buying an existing business, we have advisors in those areas. We have a full team for asset protection. Uh, we have an advisor on just tax strategies that can actually increase your revenue. So we have all the information and we help walk people through step-by-step step implement, implementing this in their life and seeing those results. Um, we also have uh, an investor profile personality quiz that people can take. We have checklists. So you can look at where you are at in your life right now and where you want to be and how to get there. Um, we have like 20 personalized financial calculators for people that want to run their numbers and see what, you know, their growth and how their, their cash flow is growing over time. It's pretty exciting when you see that. So, um, and then we're always bringing on new advisors and new uh, lessons uh, continually to our members so they can learn and grow. And then we also do live events, uh, you know, Typically, we'll, every month we'll do a live event, bring an entrepreneur on, learn their strategy, and do some Q and A with them. Yeah, you got so much great content all in one place. So, anyone watching, listening to this, go head on over to what's the URL? The elevationgroup.com, yeah. right? The elevationgroup.com, and then uh, I can provide a link for you, Michael, for uh, you know people that are looking more into the membership. Um, I'll give you a special link because uh, if you go to our membership right there and purchase it, I think it's, it goes for it's about nineteen ninety five a year, but we have a, a different price point for people that come through. Some people like to use. So. Cool. That'd be, that'd be great. I, I appreciate that. So anyways, definitely check it out. A lot of information uh, in the, in the, in the same, uh, all in one place. So to me, the elevation bank thing is very interesting to me, Brian. So I'll look, I'll be looking into that. That's, that's fascinating. Uh, didn't yeah. ever know you could, you could do that with life insurance. So that's, uh, that's really, really interesting. So uh, and any it's, other a part? it's a very popular strategy, by the way, for real estate. So yeah. um, a lot of real estate investors, if you're say doing apartments and or doing renovations or uh, single family or multi units, that strategy is a great place that investors like to park money, let it grow because it gets guaranteed returns. And why it's so powerful, this is a, in a nutshell, this is really why it's so uh, uh, powerful when it comes to real estate, is if you have $100,000 of cash value in one of these wealth accounts, it's going to be getting a guaranteed return of 4, 5, 6% compounded. You can loan yourself that $100,000 to go invest into an apartment complex. Yet your $100,000 does not go away in your wealth account and does not stop earning compound returns. And you're double you have dipping. your money in two places at once. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, and, of course, you get the, the death benefit out of all that. It's, it really is fascinating. And you have, uh, uh, number one, less reliance on banks, and you're paying yourself all the interest and fees that you would normally pay the bank. So it is, yeah. it is very, very interesting. Uh, definitely something that, uh, to, to look into. Um, any any parting, uh, parting thoughts here? Yeah. So uh, one thing I, I always try to – talk to people about is um, understand the three sources of income and make sure that you're moving through those things and not just stuck in one. And the first one is active income. The second one is portfolio income. And the last one is passive income. Make sure that you're moving through those and you're working on passive income. Most people spend 95% of their time on active income in their life. 
they don't focus on passive or a portfolio. They just take that for granted and they do not focus on passive income. Get educated, get knowledgeable, make sure you're moving through those sources of income and be focused on portfolio and passive income because that's where you want to be. That's where you build true wealth and true financial freedom. Awesome. How can people connect with you, Brian? Um, you can actually reach out, reach out to me personally at Brian at the elevation or you can go over to, uh, you know, the elevation group.com and sign up for our newsletter there. Awesome. Well, thank you very much uh, for sharing the five step formula. Love it. Thank you so much. No problem. Appreciate it. Thanks for, being, thanks for letting me be here. All right. Here are the five pillars again in summary. All right, number one is to create income. Um, either he said portfolio, active or passive income, passive being the best. Uh, and then creating a, a financial platform. And he talked about basically creating your own bank. Uh, we call it the Elevation Bank. This is very, very interesting and something I'm looking to as well. It's, and they use life insurance vehicles that you pay into over time. And that then starts paying dividends while you can then leverage that money, which is liquid. It's yours to do other very interesting things with. So I'm very, very intrigued by that. Uh, maybe I'll have a guest come on show to uh, one of his advisors and maybe talk more about that. Number three, uh, create a security to pre protect it, asset protection, tax considerations, that kind of stuff. Number four, you need to have and acquire assets uh, that pay you uh, and more of, more of that passive side and then really focusing on multiple sources of revenue, evaluating different uh, opportunities. How do you do that? What opportunities are out there? So that's kind of his five-step formula. And it's really important, I think, to uh, educate to educate yourself. That's really at the heart of, of, of this. And I, you know, I, every time I go to a seminar or a boot camp <clears throat> or I meet people that do very interesting things, I learn something. So I'm a constant learner. I'm constantly learning stuff. And I think you should be as well. So really being a lookout um, for that. And a great resource really is, is the Elevation Group. It's theelevationgroup.com. There is a membership fee, but a lot of stuff he's got for free. So I would say get on his, his mailing list and just check him out. Uh, what I like about him is he, they've really got a good heart. Uh, him and his brother and they have a lot of really good resources a lot of their advisors I know personally and I know they're good guys and gals so really like what he's kind of put to, put together there that's the elevation group.com then don't forget to buy my book all right it's financial freedom with real estate investing it's on Amazon right now it's a hot new release on Amazon so grab that as well and that's available in Kindle and soft cover and if you love the show Head over to iTunes, give me a review. Love to hear from, uh, from you as well. And if you love the book, uh, please leave me a review on Amazon as well. All right, guys, that's it for today. Hope you found that useful. We'll catch you on the next episode. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, the next step, download this ebook right here, okay? When you've downloaded that, uh, make sure you also subscribe to my YouTube channel because then you can get all of the videos that I release as soon as I release. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now. Click on that right now. And then also make sure that this is the next best video to watch is this one right here. So hope you enjoy that. I'll catch you next time.